Number five, the rose fin apple. Now I know what you're thinking. No, this is not an apple. And you'd be right, it isn't. It's a potato. That's why it's in a potato countdown. This gets spot number five because so many people eat these thinking they're sausages. And I think that's pretty damn smart. Good job, potato. At number four is the red thumb potato. Upon first glance, they may appear to look like some sweet tasting fruit. Though I've never eaten one myself and I never plan to, I'm sure to children and people like myself, they taste of disappointment. Though reddish in color, they look nothing like a thumb. So the person who named this was probably high. At number three is the Russian banana. Now, no, I am not trying to pull the wool over your eyes. This is, in fact, a potato. I have compared the two of a banana, a true banana, and a Russian banana. As you can see, the difference between the Russian banana and a real banana is that the Russian banana is tougher and doesn't bruise like a little bitch. Good job, potato. This potato is Russia's number one export after Tetris. The runner-up in the countdown, at place two, is the all-blue potato. Now straight away you can see that the name is a fucking lie, and this potato is purple. It's purple, not blue. Now not only did someone have the gall to call this a blue potato, they called it an all-blue potato. Though it is not the potato's fault for being named this way as the person who named it probably escaped from an insane asylum. Because of this potato going through existential crisis, I'm awarding it place two. And the best potato goes to the Russet Burbank potato, the most famous and well-used potato. Restaurants such as McDonald's use the Russet Burbank potatoes for their size as every other potato compared to this one is a tiny, puny, insignificant piece of dirt. This magnificent potato has made and broken lives. The British were so jealous of the Irish for having so many russet potatoes that they took all of them and everyone in Ireland died. When the British realized what they had done, they felt extreme remorse and in honor of the Irish people that had perished, they planted every single last potato. These potato would grow incredibly quickly, and from their stems, new Irish people were born, righting the wrong of the British. All the snakes in Ireland were watching this, and decided it was incredibly fucked up, and so they left. And that is why there are no snakes in Ireland. Good job, potato.